Hey guys, welcome to the channel today. Uh, let's see, what day is it? Lost track. I think it's Tuesday. Anyway, I'm covered with grass because I was out weed eating when uh, FedEx showed up with my latest attachment. And uh, so there is the box. And you can see I have the tractor rear end facing. So probably already have some good guesses. Uh, what this is. Uh, I didn't see too many reviews on it, so I'm hoping to kind of play it out and see how it works and then um, give you guys a good review to see if it's a money well spent or not. Uh, but anyway, I think I'm going to do a time lapse on opening and assembly. So we'll have that documented and you can see what that's about. And then um, I don't know if it'll be this video or the next one, but we'll give it a whirl uh, down in the meadow and see what it does. So enjoy. So you got the time lapse on the assembly. I'm sure you had a good laugh over my figuring it out. I don't know if it's just me or instructions just suck, but um, they used several different ways not to say what they could have easily said, which was the tines with the shorter arms on top go on the ends. Um, but anyway, I figured it out eventually. So they're on, uh, there she be. Um, basically this thing is designed for like pine needles, sticks, leaves, kind of a light duty landscape rake. And so I plan on using it on the hill over there that we limbed up the cedars on and there's limbs and sticks, mostly sticks everywhere that take forever to pick up by hand. Um, it's also good for areas that you hit with the brush hog or, you know, that you want to reseed or uh, do food plot with or something like that. It's, uh, I think I mentioned earlier, it costs about a third of a um, conventional landscape rake because it's kind of a light duty. So I thought I'd give it a try and see what happens. So I'm going to run it over to the uh, hillside there and see what we do.
So you got a little bit of a taste of it and I think there's gonna be a learning curve on using it. It is accomplishing kind of what I wanted to do. It's not gonna do it on the first pass or even the second, but you can see I'm getting a pretty good collection of sticks down there and twigs and whatnot. And that's kind of what I was shooting for. I don't really wanna tear the ground up um, like uh, maybe a conventional landscape rake would do uh, potentially. And you can see behind me, that's kind of what I'm going for so that the normal vegetation can come in once these sticks get picked up. So, um, hopefully I don't wish I had a bought a big conventional rake, but if that's the case, I can always do some horse trading at some point. But anyway, I'm gonna give this a shot. I think it's gonna work. I think there's, like I said, gonna be a learning curve. I might need to do some adjustment on the uh, three-point hitch so that I get a better, kind of a better angle or whatnot. Anyway, thanks for uh, coming along and checking out the, uh, pine, what do they call it, pine needle rake or whatever, something like that from Titan uh, Attachments. And I wanna say it was like 200 and something dollars. So pretty reasonable. Uh, took me, I'm guessing maybe an hour to put it together, so. Anyway, thanks for stopping by. If you have questions, suggestions, um, leave me a comment and appreciate you watching. Take care.